don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Join our Facebook group, Discovering Newfoundland, and let us know where we can go to discover. Good morning from Hans Harbor, Newfoundland. It's an absolutely beautiful morning this morning. We just drove through the community of uh, Hans Harbor. Absolutely beautiful community here on the Avalon Peninsula, Trinity Bay South. Hopefully after our hikes we'll be able to get some uh, photos and some videos of the community because I just think it's beautiful. We're hiking the Dubervale Trail starting in Hans Harbor going to New Chelsea. We're not sure how far of a hike it is going to be. We scoured the internet today um, but didn't come up with anything so I have my Fitbit on and we're going to check it out once we're done the hike. Before we do that hike we're going to hike out to Hans Harbor Lighthouse. It's only a 0.5 kilometer loop trail, but who doesn't love a lighthouse? Let's go have some fun. That's right, let's go have some fun. Right at the start of the lighthouse trail, and it looks back into the community. Not that's, a bad view, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just actually just rounded the corner and the lighthouse is right there. Yeah, right oh. there. <laughs> what do we walk? Maybe 100, 200 feet? Yeah. Just incredible. Well, that's okay. At yeah. least if you wanted to come see the lighthouse, it's not a very uh, long walk in, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. And a beautiful lighthouse. Look at that. Yeah, let's go take a closer look. This is a pretty lighthouse. It's very well kept. Just out here at the point of the lighthouse, you can look back and see the community of uh, Hans Harbor. Just a beautiful little community, right along the coast. The rock formations on the coast here are incredible. We just came out of the lighthouse. Uh, we were looking online first before we came here and it showed it as a loop trail, but we actually didn't find a loop, did we? No, no loop. And I think that it's, uh, I said it was 0.5 of the kilometer. I think it's maybe half that, but still, I mean, the end result with that lighthouse, it's worth yeah, a little walk up. Yeah, it's a very easy walk in. Community's beautiful. If you're in this area, definitely come see that lighthouse. Check out the community. Yeah, and the views. The views were great. Yeah. Looks like it's a good day on clothes here in Hans Harbor. We're just at the start of the Duberville, Hans Harbor to New Chelsea. Um, it's not very far from the Lighthouse Trail, so let's get going and see what we can see. I think we're starting this hike off right. We've got some wave action, we've got gorgeous coastal views. What could be better? How beautiful is that? Absolutely gorgeous here. You can see the tip of the lighthouse sticking up over that rock there. The wind is so calm out here this morning. Just a light little breeze. Just absolutely fantastic. Great day to be out. We're not very far in at all. You can look back, you see the lighthouse, you see the town. Fantastic. What do you think, my dear? Oh, it's really something else. Newfoundland is a beautiful place. It's a lovely painted rock off to the right, and the view behind it is, oh my, look at that. At the bottom of the stairs, I was just noticing as we were coming down that they're in really good shape. And right up there, there's a bench, so you can always stop halfway before you start the uh, rest of the descent. It's really nice down here. There's some big boulders, and then there's this huge cliff face looking up. It's fantastic. Take a look at that. That is just gorgeous. It's got little caves, the big boulders in there. The trees are kind of growing right on the, the edge of the boulder. It is very unique. Yeah, right along this trail here, on the one side you got the coast just through, you know, 20 feet of trees, but you can still see the coastline, you can hear the water, and to your right you have this huge rock uh, cliff. 
Look in here, hen, where that cave goes in. It almost looks like a little walking trail going in there. Oh, it does. It is so cool in here. It is, very, very neat. You know, we're spending a bit of time in here, but you, why not? The entrance to this path is tree covered, and again, it looks magical. As you can see, we're not making much progress because it is just so beautiful here. We keep stopping, but hey, why not? Yeah, and we have another view of the lighthouse, just a different perspective. Okay, folks, you gotta see this. Beautiful. The views are just stunning. I mean, we look one way, we've got a view. We turn around and there's another fantastic view. Just so glad that we're able to share this with you. We have come to this most magical scene. Just love it. Look at this rock here, Helen. I bet if you zoomed in on it, it would look like uh, an exotic island with trees all over it. We just came uh, to an opening. There's a picnic table, a platform there. Uh, it looks like there's a little fire pit to the left if you're gonna have a boil up. It's like a nice place to stop. And maybe through the trees there to the left, there might be a lookout. We should go check that out. Yeah, we'll go check it out. It's a nice calm in here too. Not very windy, so it would be a good place to stop and have a picnic. Yeah. The little trail to the left leads you to this view. There is lots of trees, but you can see the ocean. Starting to feel a little bit better now, hen? Yeah, I got my little uh, snack here and I'm feeling much better. The weather has turned out to be fantastic. I mean, I actually had to take our jackets off. It's really very calm in here, very pretty. Loving this hike so far. How about you? Yeah, it's great. Love the coastline. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, walking through the forest here has been uh, quite magical as well. It's been great. This is unusual. We just came along the trail and it looks like you know, a made rock wall, which is really unusual out on the trail here. Yeah, it's very perplexing, that's for sure. Wow, this forested trail is so beautiful. Just love walking through it. Yeah, it's really nice in here. So far, the trail's been really good. Yes. Uh, well kept, nice and wide. And we've uh, seen these... Um, Little birdhouses all along the way. It's really nice in here. We've come to a little fork in the road. We've got the lookout off to one side, the trail off the other. We're going to go down and take a look at the lookout, see what we can see, and then we'll come back and continue on. We just come in a, across another rock formation, and this one actually looks like it's almost circular. So uh, that might go back to uh, the folklore in Newfoundland regarding fairies. Uh, obviously we don't know why this rock formation is here. Oh, <laughs> this is so worth coming to take a look at the lookout. It's beautiful down here. Oh. Hun, there's two boats out there. Do you think they're coming in with a catch of fresh lobster? Oh, that would be nice. Mm. Yeah, we got to find some. <laughs> oh, oh, there's what? a little creature swimming in the hole. What was it? A big. I don't know, like a... That was this big. <laughs> <laughs> what color was it? It was light brown. Was it a fox? No, it was like a gopher. Uh, I don't think they have gophers here. I don't think so. I don't oh, know. There's something. Keep an eye on that little spot. <laughs> Maybe he'll come back up. So closer inspection to this excitement that I had, I saw a creature. It's actually a fox. I don't know if it's a baby fox. Full grown, but he was just peeking his head out. Oh, I think that was the mother fox.
you get the fox in? Uh, I think I got a little bit of it um, peeking out of the hole. But we did hear the mother fox and it kind of <laughs> scared us a little bit. I've never heard a fox make that noise before. But I think it was a little bit of a warning. So we're going to head out and, and uh, maybe we'll just check back in and see if they're out playing. We're just walking up a hill here and we come to a set of stairs for the rest of the way up the hill. Look like they go straight up and then off to the right up there. Yeah, it's an upward climb all the way. So after we climbed that set of stairs, which is quite a calf burner, uh, we walked through some bedrock. Uh, there were more stairs. Um, they had kind of like a log ladder type of thing to walk across or up. And it looks like we've got more of an incline yet to go. So we're yeah. going to continue on and see what we discover up there. Yeah, we are uh, been climbing up for quite a while. Hopefully we get a nice view up there. Icing on the cake. Yeah. <laughs> One of our uh, YouTube subscribers uh, asked us if we could check cell phone service while we're out on the trail. Uh, we've got about two bars of service up here, so I guess that's enough to get you um, some help if you need it. Well, we're at the top. A uh, little out of breath. Yeah. That was quite the hike. But there's the view, and it's so worth it. Yeah, just beautiful, the lighthouse there. The town behind it, fantastic. <laughs> I need a rest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely gorgeous up here. Once you're up at the top there, there's not much of a plateau. plateau and then on the other side, it just starts going down right away. But look at this section. It is so lovely in here. The whole way through has been very scenic. Part way down the hill here, there's a little lookout point. I spy with my little eye a fishing boat out on the ocean. <laughs> we continued on the forested path. Um, it's a little more grown in, but you can still see where the path goes. We come out to this big clearing, it's very pretty, um, and then we see that the path continues on over here because it's got uh, little orange ribbons on the trees so shouldn't get lost out here it's very very beautiful we're up on the hill taking in the scenery and now it looks like we've maybe reached New Chelsea. Well, at least we can see it anyways. That's true, we haven't reached it yet. Probably still a little ways to go, but it's there in sight. It's just looking a little ahead and some of the boards are cracked and some pieces are missing. So if you're walking along, just be wary. The last leg here is pretty muddy. As you can see, the ATVs have been coming up this part, uh, probably to cut wood. I'm not sure what they're doing, but uh, yeah, quite muddy in here. We really enjoyed our hike today. It was a well-kept trail. There was a little bit of overgrowth in some areas, a bit muddy, but it's spring still, so that's something you can expect. We had some absolutely beautiful coastal views. Um, we saw the lighthouse, which was great. It was a good day. Yeah, this is uh, some parts of the trail were challenging, especially climbing up that hill and maybe the last leg. If you have uh, mobility issues, this might not be a hike for you, but we hope uh, you enjoyed following us today while we were hiking. And we're in New Chelsea here now, and you come out, looks like maybe a converted church over there. Beautiful here. At this point, we have traveled 5.5 uh, kilometers down the trail and we do have to hike back, so... <laughs> oh, we got, crashing we got some the commotion over there. Over there. Oh, oh <laughs> crows. crows. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to uh, continue watching, we are going to walk around the community of Hans Harbor and show you a little bit of that. We're just heading back towards Hans Harbor and I was just thinking on the way you know, a lot of these hikes are a little harder. People might not be able to get out and do them. Uh, if you can't, I hope that you enjoy seeing it through our, our eyes. 
Well, I was just thinking, you know, you can come to these little communities where the trail starts. They're absolutely beautiful, a great way to get out and walk around. You know, you're not trudging through rough terrain. There's usually always someone there that stops and says hi and shares a few words. It's a great way to get out and discover Newfoundland. On our way back in, we went back to where we saw the little fox and it was actually two pups. They were out, so we took a few photos, gave them their space. We didn't stay too long because we didn't want to aggravate mom, but it was a great day. On our way out, the ocean is a little more alive. The men out there bringing in their lobster traps. This is the Custard Head Fishing Premises in Hans Harbor. We're just driving through the community here and we see a seal sending himself out there. What a beautiful scene. A little seal there sending himself. White house in the background. What a picturesque little community. Is it wee breezy out there, my dear? It is. I had to put my hood on. <laughs> Pretty cool to see that seal, though. That was awesome. Just leaving and, and we get to see that. Yep. Absolutely fantastic day. We're just on the other side of the harbor now, over by the shipyard. Here's the view of the lighthouse from this side. What a pretty little community though, eh? Yeah. Surrounding it. I don't know how many times I said that today. It's like an old root cellar over here. The coastline is just beautiful. Look at these rock formations. They're just incredible. Got a little wave action out there today too because the wind just picked up. I tell you, that's quite a difference from this morning. That wind coming out the ocean is mighty icy. So this is all coral and shell and sea urchins. Helen, what do you think of Hans Harbor? It's fantastic. <laughs> We've had a great hike. We found uh, this really pretty spot. Fantastic waves. The community is lovely. Just a great day. Look how thick this rope is. You can hold the big boat with that. That's a pretty large piece of rope. Yeah, it's neat. Well, this is a Newfoundland scene if I ever saw one. Root cellar, ship coming in, White House in the background. We've really enjoyed our day here at Hans Harbor. The trail is nice, it was a good hike. The scenery in this community is just unbelievable. If you're ever down this way, you gotta stop and just walk around the community, just beautiful. Yeah, and admire the views because there are views plenty out here.